Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another mod review for Fallout 4 and today we are going to take a look at Fallout Miami and um, yeah this is a fun little mod if you're not aware of the Fallout Miami project then we'll be talking about that in a pretty much a lot as much detail as I can today and um, yeah hopefully we might give it a look let's do it So before we get into this, um, I just to where to find this mod, I will um, just talk to you about the uh, website. They have a, uh, a website up and running, which has got a lot of content on it, a lot of information if you're, you want to learn a little bit more. They also have a YouTube channel, and as you can see, there is lots and lots of content explaining the mod, um, keeping you up to date on the progress and um, potentially what they're going to develop for the future. I will leave links down below in the description, so if you want to check those out and uh, learn a little bit more, uh, you can. So you can find this mod in uh, Bethesda.net. Um, you should be able to find it in your mod list as well. Um, <clears throat> you can see there's a Miami Misadventures Episode 1 and there's also a quad barrel shotgun which we're going to pick up and give it a wee bit of a run. But anyway, we're going to focus on Miami Misadventures and um, you can see it says My Miami Misadventures is an episodic mod that provides a single platform for all standalone mods content released during the production of Fallout Miami. It features new characters, characters, quests, items and locations in the Commonwealth. Each episode is due to be released simultaneously on both PC and Xbox One. Um, sorry for you PlayStation um, players, it's not going to be available on PlayStation, at least not at the moment, and um, I'm sure you're well aware of why PlayStation has that kind of policy in place. So we're going to play through the uh, the first quest today, which is a caravan merchant from down south has been ambushed by masked raiders while travelling in the Commonwealth and requires the assistance of a sole survivor to recover his stolen merchandise. Embark on a short adventure to interact, vengeance on the raiders who stole Fontaine's me merchandise, and solve a puzzle to discover um, where they have hidden a compact sub-machine called, gun called the Wild Goose. So kind of kind of excellent kind of start. It's an introduction to the, the mod and what you can expect from this, the... Um, the uh, mod going forward there are a number of things that you're going to get with this mod straight away with um, episode one a compact submachine gun golf club animal masks faction paint etc etc and um, i'll show you how we start it and then we'll just get into it and see where it takes us so as soon as you log in you'll see that it will um, prompt a the wild goose chase a uh, mission and then it will put the mission in your pit boy like that listen to the fontaine's broadcast across the radio and listen to the message and that will start um start the quest for you um now i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let you hear it this time i'm gonna do a separate episode and i'll take you through the whole thing from start to finish so let's have a look now at some of the things that you get as a consequence of doing this mission some of the good stuff and some of the the, the unique uh, collectibles that you get so to kick this off, there are four masks that you get um, during this little mission. Uh, the first one obviously is the tiger mask. Now the, the stats are pretty much the same in all the masks. So there is the tiger mask. Then we'll move on to the bunny mask, which you get very, very early on. That's probably the first one that you will get. Um, we have the wolf mask. And finally, the zebra mask. So they're all pretty nice little uh, little collectibles to have, and a little bit unique. Unfortunately, I couldn't uh, I couldn't actually show you from a front perspective for some reason. It wasn't letting me show you um, how I look in my uh, a wee uniform. Um, it wouldn't let me get a front on view. So here are the four collectibles now. Um, the the quest that you will get is you're looking for the wild goose. The wild goose is actually a um, a weapon. It's a submachine gun, and this thing is absolutely awesome. So let's uh, show you the stock standard uh, wild goose, and then I'll show you what you can do once you modify it. 
So as you can see, at standard, the damage is 178, 90 fire rate, uh, a range of 77, accuracy 68, and uh, you can see it, it's quite a nice little gun. It has a lot of little kind of nuances to it. Now, I will, what I will say is if you modify this gun, you will lose some of that kind of wild child, um, uh, crescent moon, etc. look of it. So I'll show it. This is the standard gun, and it is awesome as you're seeing in the background some of the, the gunplay um let's see when we modify it what we actually get and then i'll try and put these uh, side by side as far as the stats go and uh, you can see what they look like so here is what happened when i modified it i moved the damage from 178 to 362 now i can tell you at 178 while well, fire rate at 90 this thing is not so but you can imagine what it's like and the footage what we showed you or i will show you is um at the 178 damage rate so you can imagine what it's going to be like at 362 damage it is crazy i managed to move the range from uh, 77 to 161 a little bit of a tweak to the accuracy at, um, from 68 to 73. It did pick up a bit of weight though, uh, uh, from 6.3, whatever it is, pounds, kilos, whatever, to 7.8. But I can tell you, it's uh, this gun is just crazy. And um, the original Wild Goose is, is sitting up in that top left-hand corner. And you can see the additional where uh, Buffett gives you is pl plus 25 damage to uh, damage and limb damage but has more recoil so um this thing i i didn't find the recoil that bad and it is an absolute beast so you can screenshot that if you like as you can see some of the the stock uh, the stuff on the stock has disappeared because i've used a different stock but apart from that um this thing is just a beast and i think you're going to love it so in addition to getting the Wild Goose, which is included in Miami Misadventures, there is a separate mod that you can run, which is the Quad Barrel Shotgun. Um, and whenever we look at that, it's a standalone release. It's the it's about a 68 meg uh, file. And um, the Quad Shotgun can be looted from a gunner enemy at level 25. It can also bought, be bought from Cleo, from Good Neighbor, and that's where I got mine, or a settlement weapon vendor at level 2. And um, yeah lovely little gun we'll show you it in a second and i'll show you what it's capable of so as you can see at standard uh, the damage is 135 a fire rate of 33 it's, it's minus zero range it's up close and personal as you'll see by the footage in a second 53 accuracy and it is quite a heavy um quite heavy shotgun it's got standard receiver short stock and standard sight so um yeah this thing is not so though i gotta say don't un don't underrate this gun this gun is pretty fun to use and um, i pretty much destroyed people in one or two shots and i love the reload animation on this gun now i did go away and modify it and i'll show you again the comparison and the modification and um you'll see what it's capable of a little bit further down the road so here's the comparison after i've modded it and you can see i've moved the damage from 135 to 267 which is pretty significant the fire rate has been increased to 166 from 33 i've actually added some range on this minus zero to 62 which is always a, a blessing 74 accuracy was the best i could do and you can see i've done that with an advanced receiver um, full stock glowing sights and extended barrel so if you want to modify this thing you can and it's just even crazier than it was at stock so uh, there you go so as far as what i think about this mod i th i am really excited to see what the development team for fallout miami come up with if this is an indication and this is a preview of what they're going to produce i am really really excited to see what happens next um I had a lot of fun with this mission. The weapons that they've put in is nice. Some of the collectibles, and I haven't showed you all the collectibles. I've just tried to show you some of the main stuff. Um, I think it is a high quality mod, and I think you're going to have a lot of fun. And I'm, I'm assuming that they will update as we go, and uh, we'll get more and more content through it. I will, what I will say is it's quite high in um, as a download, given that it's... It, 
especially on Xbox, we have a a, a limit to gig, um, and it's about two forty or two sixty megabytes, so it's quite sizable. But I think you'll have a lot of fun. Guys, if you enjoyed this mod review on Fallout Miami, let me know down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. We will be doing the full mission next week for you on the channel. So you can see if you want to see that. I didn't want to put it in this episode because I didn't want it as a spoiler. And um, if you did like the video, give us the thumbs up. And we'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP. Well, I'll see you.